بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما يا رحمة الرحيم My topic today is about silhouette sign is one of the most useful sign in evaluating the chest x-ray Silhouette sign is absence of depiction of anatomic soft tissue border either to the heart or to the diaphragm, which has the same attenuation, same density, and will obscure the heart or aortic or diaphragmatic border. It is caused by consolidation or atelectasis or mass lesion adjacent to the heart, aorta, or diaphragm. Here, this is the most area we can apply the silhouette sign. If it is obliterated, the right cardiac border, it is located in the middle lobe, medial segment. If it is located, ob obliterated, the left heart border loc located on the lingular inferior segment. And if it is located, obliterated, the right hemidea for it is located in the right lower lobe basal segments. And if, if it is obliterated, the left hemidea form, it is located on the left lower lobe and the basal segment. If it is located the right above cardiac border, ascending aorta, it is located in the anterior segment of the right upper lobe. And if it is obliterated the aortic knob, or aortic arch, it is located in the posterior segment of the left upper lobe. Let us see some examples with this. Here, this is just X-ray BA view, and we see obesity has the same density of the heart, and it is obliterated the right cardiac border. According to the silhouette sign, which is it is obliterating the right cardiac border, it should be located anteriorly and should be located in the middle lobe medial segment, as with, with summary of this schedule. And this is the lateral view of the same patient. You see, this is the minor fissure, this is the major fissure, and this is the obesity. It is located in the middle lobe. Let us see another example. Here you see the cardiac obesity and denilated by the fissure. But here, this is the region of the ascending aorta, and the ascending aorta it is not obliterated by that density soft tissue density so it is located posteriorly if it is located if it is obliterated the right ascending aorta it should be located anteriorly so this is not obliterating the right ascending aorta so it is located posteriorly as you will see it is in the lateral chest x-ray Another example, here you see the heart silhouette, and there is an obesity also obliterated the left cardiac border on the lower margin, so that that obesity should be located anteriorly and should be in the lingula in the inferior segment. Another example, here you see an obesity uh, obliterating the right hemidea form and the right cardiac border is not well is not obliterated and well seen. So that obesity it is located on the right lower lobe basal segment as we see in the lateral chest X-ray. Here it is a nice example. Two obesities, one it is obliterating the right cardiac border and one not obliterating the left cardiac border, but partially obliterating the left hemidiaphragm. 
that one obliterating the white cardiac border, so located in the middle lobe, in medial segment, and that one on the left side obliterated, partially obliterated the left cardiac, left hemidiaphragm, located on the basal segment of the left lower lobe. As we see in the lateral chest X-ray, this is on the right obesity located in the middle lobe and the left obesity it is located on the lower lobe basal segments. Also, we can apply silhouette sign on the masses in the mediastinum. As we see here, there is a soft tissue mass on the right side, obliterating the region of the ascending aorta. So this is the mass that is located anteriorly. So it is the mass that is located anteriorly. And we see that mass it is located in the anterior mediastinum. As we know, the differential diagnosis of the masses in the anterior mediastinum, it is Teratomathymoma, retrosternal goiter, and, and terrible lymphoma. Thank you for watching this video for the one of the most useful signs in the chest X-ray.